Religious apologists and certain theologians, as much as they may imply otherwise, are not educated on how atheists think, act, believe, or don't believe. They don't perform any research on the topic, they gather no actual data on the topic, and they're not atheists themselves. That should be enough for us not to take what they have to say about the topic any more seriously than a layperson. But I'll go even further and say that their statements on the subject should actually be considered dubious. Those with education and careers centered around promoting a faith often receive education which includes anti-atheist ideas from institutions which were founded on belief systems which uphold that those outside their faith, including atheists, are morally bankrupt. Religious apologetics and certain theological schools are often institutions of devotion in which students enter with a conclusion in mind and are given information meant to reinforce that conclusion. They are not the same as educational institutions of academic scholarship in which conclusions are meant to be reached only after data is gathered. <laughs> Are you serious? Atheist counter-apologists and YouTubers, as much as they may imply otherwise, are not educated on how Christians think, act, believe, or don't believe. They don't perform any research on the topic, they gather no actual data on the topic, and they're not Christians themselves. The Bible says that disease is caused by demonic possession. That should be enough for us not to take what they have to say about the topic any more seriously than a lay person. But I'll go even further and say that their statements on this subject should actually be considered dubious. <laughs> Those with YouTube channels and careers centered around promoting an atheist worldview often receive anti-Christian ideas from other YouTube channels that were founded on belief systems which uphold that those who aren't atheists, including Christians, are morally bankrupt. Truth, honesty, accuracy, and accountability don't even matter to them like they do to me. When those that preach this nonsense presume to lecture us on morality, mockery is quite frankly the kindest response at our disposal. Atheist YouTube channels are often platforms of devotion. We are going to be talking about how do we make religion go away? And the more of us that feel the universe, the better off we will be in this world. Thank you. Which other internet atheists watch with the conclusion in mind and are given information meant to reinforce that conclusion. Your Christian Lord, uh, Jehovah, whatever you want to call him, he doesn't exist. So as far as he's concerned, atheism is absolutely true and Accurate. They are not the same as educational institutions of academic scholarship in which conclusions are meant to be reached only after data is gathered. Brazenly stereotyping others is simply done to serve the biases of their in-group and not to accurately describe the world around them.